Hey everyone, it's Sand. So, the New Year 2020 stream for Fate Grand Order just ended, and the new banner came up. Now, the new servant looks pretty interesting. Uh, thing is, she's a foreigner class, which we only have a few of in the game. Now, up to this point, I have managed to roll all of them, but I do like having the extra option of uh, more characters to pick from for classes. So it's not really a necessity roll, more just kind of like, I want to collect it roll. Now luckily we have got a bunch of tickets and things for the New Year's uh, celebration, so uh, I'm rather set. Now I will say her final art looks really nice as well as um, that was recently shown, so yeah. Let's see what happens. I'm going to throw my tickets at it, and I think probably... 210 sync quartz or so. I don't want to use too much because I do want to make sure I have some going into the new year. Um, so yeah, we'll see what happens. Let's get rolling. Our first roll is a CE. Handy. Huh. I think I'll skip CE pulls because I don't really care so much about craft essences, I really just want the servant. <clears throat> and the other characters that are on the banner are also uh, pretty neat too, so I guess it's just kind of a net win. Silver? Silver. Because right now it's just her that's on raid up, but later they're going to be psyching through like Gilgamesh, Void, Saber, all sorts of things. So. The banner is going to be quite stacked with good characters as the uh, as the days go on. All right, what do we got on this? The craft essence. Oh, the server's already getting hogged. <laughs> I guess it should be expected, all things considered. It's been kind of brutal. Okay, what do we got? New craft essence? Yeah. The New Year's craft essences are interesting, to say the least. <laughs> Come on. Poor servers, man. They were never... At least they're not going down. That was a big issue during the first year or so, was the servers going down constantly. At least, you know, they've kind of stabilized them, so they... Uh, air quotes work. Albeit very slowly. Very, very slowly. Come on. Come on. No loading or anything, which isn't a good sign. Come on, let me luck out like I've done the last few times. <laughs> oh man, can you imagine? Oh, loading, I like that. Alright, what do we got? Craft Essence? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, when the um, summon animation starts. If it's a single ring that pops out, it's a craft essence, and if it's three rings, then it's a servant. So you can easily tell really quickly what's coming your way. We got craft. Alright, time for the double draw. Yeah. Ooh, servant? I didn't see any loading though, so... Yeah. Alright, last handful of tickets, and then we'll move on to St. Quartz. <laughs> servant, but no loading. Another caster... okay. I'm waiting, hoping that they'll change to gold after they rotate around, because that's another thing that can happen. Cards can come up silver, and then they'll 
flash gold and change to a different rarity, but um, not so lucky apparently. <laughs> yeah, I really don't want to use too much St. Quartz because going into the new year, there's probably going to be a lot of stuff. We're still waiting for the part two of uh, Atlantis. God knows when that's going to show up. <laughs> Everyone was thinking it would happen after the first week of the first part of the story, which is typical, right? That's kind of the typical... Uh, schedule for Fate Grand Order, you have a story event, and then a week later we get part two with bosses or whatever in the banner. This time it wasn't, and they just have a part two. So, it'll be interesting to see, um, see where that goes. Hopefully they don't make us wait until, like, the summer. <laughs> God, they can take a long time. Come on. And last ticket. Well, then what? Uh, seven ten draws? Yeah, because then it'll put me down to a nice comfy 600, so that's 20 draws for another thing. Servant, but there wasn't any loading that I saw. Caster. Cool. Okay. So, let's move on to ten draws. I haven't done my paid guaranteed SSR yet, because I'm still kind of on the fence about which one I want to roll, but it'll most likely end up being the extra class, because there's a lot of characters in there I don't have, so I saw a little bit of loading on there, so it's probably a craft essence, which is a shame, but what can you do? Either that or is a spook load. <laughs> very hard to resist tapping to speed this up because that's normally how I did my gacha rolls before I started like recording them all the time is I'd roll and I would just mash through it oh so that's probably the craft essence because I don't recognize that one yeah I can't even remember when that one got added it must have been relatively recently Come on, keep going. I also need to take a look at the new quest that came with the New Year's. Because they added a whole bunch of uh, master missions to do. Thankfully, I managed, like a lot, I think it was the first six were just clearing the story. So it was clearing the main story, then all the Lost Belt chapters up to the more recent one. And you got free, uh, free St. Quartz for doing that, which is nice. I say give a little more, but what can you do? Uh, there only should be a few cards left on this roll. What do we got? Anything good? Do you get a gold servant on this, or is this truly a min roll? So it looks like I just got the one gold craft essence, and that was it. Unless I missed one, which wouldn't be too surprising. I woke up at a weird time to watch the stream, so I'm still a little groggy. Is that it? No. One or two more of it. Man, so many craft essences that I just will never use. Alright, let's do another 11 roll. So that's my second one. Ah, server leg, server leg. How I love the server leg. This looks like this one's a wash too, as there was no loading or anything. Shame. Man, 
it. It is it is terribly boring watching these rolls go through for me, anyways. Like I said, I'm used to quickly going through all of them, and uh, yeah. Now, watching the new characters' gameplay was actually pretty cool because I, I personally I really like the way her noble phantasm looks. Um, but I think in general the character design's pretty neat. I don't know if I call it great or anything. I definitely call it neat. Um, but yeah, it's nice seeing more Forerunner class servants in the game, because up till now we, we had Abigail as the first one, and then only, if, like, what, two months later or something, we got, um, we got Oi, and then we got, uh, MHXX the summer after those, so... Yeah, and then it was quite a while, actually, since that. That was our last Foreigner. So that wasn't this summer, that was the summer before that. So it's been, yeah, it's been, it's been quite a bit. Quite a bit. So getting a new Foreigner is nice. I guess it's not really a big deal if I don't get her, because I have the other three. But out of all three, I think I like her design the most. And then I'll probably do my GSSR tonight or tomorrow. I don't know yet. I'm still kind of playing around with that one. Okay, next roll. Another min. All right, I'm gonna skip this one because there didn't seem to be anything new on this roll. Is that my gold? Yeah, that's my gold. Did I get another one? Yeah. I don't even know what that craft essence does, in all honesty. Should actually probably read up on it. <laughs> okay, there's a little loading. So we're gonna watch this one. Although, with the amount it loaded, it's most likely just gonna be the new SSR CE. Or a different CE that I haven't seen before. Typically, servants take a little longer to load than craft essences, because not only does it have to download the servant card image from the server, but then it also has to download uh, the sprite sheet that it shows when they're doing their introduction speech to the player for rolling them. So typically you can tell roughly what you roll or what's new on your roll by how long the loading is. Um, sometimes servants have a very short load time like a craft essence and that's only because they only use a couple of expressions during their introduction or maybe just one. So very little has to be downloaded. So we'll, uh, we'll see. Because I don't really think I'm missing that much in this game. Like, I'm only missing a handful of craft essences, I think, and only a few servants, and most of the servants are, like, limited ones. So, unless I somehow got my hands on a four-star that I'm missing or something. Either that or it's spook loading, <laughs> which would be a real pain. What's this? Craft essence... Mabo Tofu. Yum. Is this the new thing? Three. Servant. Caster. No. Is that it? No. I should start keeping better track of my... Oh, I think that's a new craft essence. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I gotta just have this headphone cable. Okay, I'm gonna skip the rest of this roll, I guess, as it looks dead. Yep. Okay. Let's do another. So, we got 600 nights. I'm only gonna do three more 10 rolls. Okay, so that's just gonna be a skip then, because nothing new. Whenever you tap the screen when you're doing a roll, it'll skip all the non-new content that, uh, or non, yeah, all content you already have, so it'll stop on new content or gold content. Oh, gold archer. Ah, okay. And yeah. Cool. I haven't seen him come out in the gacha in quite a while, so. I think that was it for that. Oh, I got two. <laughs> oh, and Gozen, okay. 
All right, last roll, and then I will wrap up the video. Oh, got a loading. So I'll let this play out, and then I'll wrap up the video. Oh well, didn't get the foreigner. Maybe I'll roll a little off camera or something. I don't know. I guess it depends on how good I see her kit is going down the line. It's, it's not really a... If I get her, cool. If not... Okay, so it's just this new craft essence I got. Well, hey, at least I got all the New Year's craft essences. It went a lot better than the last couple of times I've rolled New Year's where I got no craft essences or units. So... Alright. Is that it for the roll? Yeah. Alright, so I'll wrap up the video here. Um... Yeah. Thankfully, the uh, <laughs> the stream went pretty well, all things considered, so um, we didn't get a lot of news, but they did announce that the new Strange Fake anime is starting. At least I'm pretty sure that's what the announcement was. Like I said, I was pretty groggy watching it. Anyways, peace out, guys. I'll uh, see you in the next video. Alright, so um, originally I was going to just end my video after my, air quotes, uh, failed rolls. Um, but what I did was I went back and I threw a couple more 10 rolls at it, like I said I might do off camera. And I did actually manage to get her after, um, as you can see I have 532 sand quartz now. It took me, uh, what, three more rolls or so and I got her. Um, what I've done is I've stocked up a bit on paid sand quartz so I can roll the guaranteed. Now the reason I'm rolling the extra banner here versus everything else is because out of all the characters that are on raid up here, this is the only one where I don't have the majority. So, ideally, if I were to roll a character from this banner, I would like either uh, QSH or Nobu. I'll take Dantes because he works really well because I have Scotty. But yeah, looking at all the other extra banners and stuff, like this banner, I have every single character on here, right? Uh, the Berserker banner, the only one I'm missing on here, or I guess two, is Golden, and I can't remember his name for the life of me. I have everyone on this banner. Yeah, no, everyone except uh, MHX. I have everyone on this banner except for Ilya and Da Vinci. But anyways, the long story short is for every banner that they have rate up characters on, I have the majority. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll the extra, I'm going to cross my fingers, and hope I get a new character. I rolled really hard for Nobu when she was added in during the, uh, the Nobunaga event uh, a while back. I didn't get her, so even though she's not gameplay meta, I still really want her. Anyways, enough talking, running around, let's just do my guaranteed here. I can only pick one, yes, this is the one I want. Okay, no loading, so it's most likely going to be MP2 of something. Wow, literally the first card. So who am I getting MP2 of? Avenger, nice. Oh, okay, I don't have her, so that's awesome. I'm really surprised that there was no loading at all. So I'll take that to the bank. Mwah, perfect. I don't actually know how much use I'm going to get out of her now that I think about it. Like, she's a really good unit, don't get me wrong, but I don't know, she's, she hasn't fallen out of meta because she's still a very powerful unit, but I feel like there's, oh, whoa, was that another rainbow? I look away first, god dang second, another Avenger. What? <laughs> this is the first time this has ever happened to me. This is the first time. I have ever gotten two SSRs on a lucky bag before. Wow. Okay, for a second I thought it was going to turn gold. I was panicking. Okay. Well, that's really cool. Well, now she's MP2. Does that really change things, though? Anyways, that's what I was saying. Um, she hasn't fallen out of meta, but I find that she's not as useful as she was before because of the variety of unit options we have now. Because when we originally got uh, John Alter, we had like we had options don't get me wrong but we didn't have a uh, the vast amount of selection that we do now so she's still good I just think that because there's so many flexible things that we're able to do she's not as highly rated 
as she originally was, but still a very powerful buster unit. Okay, so I think that pretty much summarizes up my 10 roll to Jean Darks, which is really nice. That's... I did not expect that whatsoever, so that's... <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Is that it? Yeah, that's the other thing, too, is in the Avenger pool, because this has rate up Avengers, the only rare Avenger that's available is... Uh, Artillery. I can't remember his, his name, whatever that guy is. So he's the only rare servant that you're going to get when rolling this. That's... okay. So yeah, we do your intro. I did manage to farm her costume up during the event that we had it show up in before, so... Anyways, with that, this video is done. I've, uh, I've rolled that new unit, so I'll actually bring it up here. Uh, now, some of you who watch my Gundam content... Um, may know that I was going to roll for the quad today, and I did, and I recorded it. Unfortunately, the video file got corrupted, meaning that I'm not going to be able to upload that one, unfortunately, which kills me on the inside, but what can you do? It happens, right? Anyways, I'll wrap up here for good this time. Peace out.